Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am doing my Sephora Spring Sale haul. I just got this box and I'm so excited to show you what I picked up during the spring sale. The sale is still on as I'm filming this video. See if I can edit it on time and put it up for you guys as soon as I can. But uh, yeah, let's dive into what I picked up from Sephora. If you're new to my channel and you love my channel and my videos, I would love for you to subscribe. You mean so much to me. And let's get started. I have one product that I picked up from the actual Pat McGrath website because this was, I don't think it was at Sephora when I, or maybe, I don't remember. But I picked it up from Pat McGrath website because they had a sale, I think and I picked a mothership palette. So I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. So this is the mothership seven divine rose palette. Oh, it's so beautiful. I picked it up because it's more on the nude side. Again, the beautiful packaging of Pat McGrath and inside it's so pretty. Look at those shades. Aren't they beautiful? Like, look at those. Where are they? These two shades right here. Check this one out right there. And look at that shift. You see the pink? And now you see the brown, yellow. Oh my goodness. Like, look at those nice neutral shades. So it looks pink. And then when I move it up, the pink disappears. Do you see that? So yeah, I picked this palette up. I love Pat McGrath palettes. This is my third Mothership palette and I can't wait to do a look with this one. So this is one palette I picked up from the Pat McGrath website, not from Sephora, but the rest of the products are from Sephora and they're all makeup. No, yeah, let's see what I picked up next. So I'm just gonna go random and pick from the box. I picked up the Urban Decay up to 24 hour hydration. This is the Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator and I got mine in the shade 20 Fair. Looks so pretty, the packaging. I love the blue. I love that you can see the actual shade inside the tube. I'm excited to try this one on because I have dry skin. Yes, Kuna. <laughs> I have dry skin, so I'm excited to have this in my collection and give it a try. Anyways, let's just go ahead and pick another one out. And this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Amber. And I think that this is a beautiful shade. Like here is the cute packaging. And I think this is a beautiful shade to contour with like look at that nice cool tone bronzer i'm so excited to try and use this i think that this is very similar to some of those high-end contour sticks like the bobby brown or westman atelier yeah i'm so excited to show you guys what else i have but this is the fenty beauty in the shade amber i can't wait to try this and contour my face i think it's gonna look so pretty uh next one Let's pick a, oh, this is the blush by Item Beauty. And this is in the shade, oopsies. I want it more of a pinky shade. And I had in my cart the Patrick Ta. And I think it's called, like it's that dual, dual blush with cream and powder. And it's that pink one like the really pink one, like something with doll is the name. And of course it went out of stock. So I had to pick another one up and look at this beautiful blush by Item. And this is a cream blush. Now this looks like, it says it's a cream blush, but look at that. It looks more like powder inside. And wow, so pigmented. Like look at that. I can't wait to use this blush, perfect for spring and for summer. It looks beautiful and this is a, it says it's a cream blush, but it looks like powder, a very interesting formula. But yeah, look at how cute the packaging is, the ombre effect, I love it. And this is a beautiful shade. Excuse my makeup, I had this makeup on from morning time. I just got home from work. We had to return to the office full time. 
I was wearing a mask but yeah I just touched up around this area where I had a mask and I rushed home to film this video because I'm so excited about using all these products and doing a full face with these products but um, aside from the haul if you're interested in what I'm wearing on my lips it is the new Merit lipstick in the shade Millennial and it's that nice pinky one it's so so pretty I love this Merit lipsticks and I'm not wearing any lip liner or anything I just wanted a pop of color with a little bit of hydration so that's what's on my lips now let's jump into the box and get another product this is the glowish by Huda Beauty and this is the soft radiance bronzing powder in the shade 02 medium I heard so many people rave about this product and it's supposed to be a very radiant bronzer bronzer and look at the design inside it's just so pretty that swirly caramel cappuccino type of color I love it let me touch it so when you swirl it wow look at I love this this is my favorite shade in bronzers like the caramel I love it's the same as like the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer but in powder form I am so excited to have this in my collection I think it's gonna look so pretty on the face wow beautiful I'm gonna make sure to link all these products in the description box so you guys know what I picked up but this is a product I haven't heard people talk about it and it said it's new and it's a packaged together a blush with a lipstick not a lipstick it's like a um, lip jelly type of product and this is the tower 28 dream team and you can see that it says new right here and it comes with a blush and a lip full-size lip jelly and full-size balm and this is in the shade the lip gloss is in the shade pistachio and the uh, rosy nude blush is in the shade magic hour which i don't have and this was a good deal this was 26 usd value of 35 or 34 canadian value of 45 so i was gonna pick up a um, blush by tower 28 because i love their cream blushes and i saw this that comes with two products for almost the same price as a blush or as a lip gloss so this is what the two products look like look at that shade it's so pretty I have another tower 28 lip gloss and I love it now this is the beach please magic hour look at that shade that is such a beautiful shade and I think this shade together with that Huda Beauty bronzer it would look beautiful and here is the actual lip gloss I have a new monitor in front of me and I have to get used to how to put the product in front of the camera <laughs> but oh let's see what this one looks like so very similar to the blush oh those two would look together that's why they came as a package but let's put it on and see hmm so hmm it tastes like something wow okay so this tower 28 lip gloss in combo with the merit lipstick in the shade millennial I think it's like a perfect match look at that more hydration so yeah that's what I picked up from tower 28 let's see what else do we have here oh okay so you guys already saw this rare beauty i picked up another rare beauty blush and this is in the shade bliss this is one of her new blushes and it is very similar to the tower 28 lip gloss but this is what this one looks like and it's such a pretty blush a little bit goes a long way there's the blush right there it looks so pretty and it dries up not glowy more like a satin finish so it's not that oily glowy type of finish it's more of a satin finish I love it so this is the rare beauty new blush in the shade bliss and by rare beauty I already have a review on my channel I picked up the positive light 
tinted moisturizer in the shade 14W. This I love so much. It's a review, a full review on my channel on how this tinted moisturizer looks on my face. I did some swatches comparison with my other Rare Beauty foundation, which I have in 170W. So if you're 170W in the foundation, then you can wear shade 14W in the tinted moisturizer. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. It's just beautiful. So this is made in Italy and her foundation is made in Canada. Something in case you didn't know. Now let's move on. I'm going to save the best for last. So here is another product and I told you I really wanted to get something by Dior. And I picked up the Dior Addict Lip Glow and this is in the shade Ultra Pink. This is so pretty. So this, look at the packaging first of all, look at the component. It matches my nails. This is so pretty and here is what the Dior Lip product looks like and it looks more like a balm and when you put it on the lips it just makes your lips very hydrating it looks like your lips is wearing a balm because this is a balm product but it gives it that tint of color and it's not intimidating as it looks here it is very sheer i'm gonna swatch it so you guys can see but look at that so that's how sheer it looks very similar to my nail color it is such a beautiful, beautiful formula. I recommend this one's by Dior and also their lip oils. I picked this up in another purchase from Sephora, but these two products, I recommend. Dior has really beautiful lip products. So next, I have again by Dior, and this is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector in the shade 1N. So this is in the shade 1 neutral, 1N, and this is a concealer. Now look how beautiful the concealer looks like. It is glass, so, so pretty. Look at the packaging, the design, very elegant, very luxe looking. There's the shade. And this is a multi-usage concealer, 24-hour wear carrying full coverage creamy concealer. So let's see this is what it looks like when you open it up it comes with a doe food applicator you would I thought it comes with a pump but it's a doe food applicator which I love and let's see how this shade looks like I think that looks perfect for my skin let's blend it out so it's not very light which is good because I can use it as spot concealing or I can just use it on those days where you don't want to wear foundation, but you can see how high, high coverage it is. And it's 24 hour wear. So I love that because it's good when you go on vacation or to the beach to wear something like this. So close it up. You have to push it in tight and make sure you hear that click. But this is such a beautiful bottle. I love the glass bottle. And I saved the best for last. I picked up, I said I wasn't gonna pick this up, but I had to pick it up because I love her formula and I love the color she came up with. And this is the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. Look at the packaging, the pink, the mint, the ombre effect, beautiful, elegant, so pretty. Again, this is made in Italy. And when you open it up, it is exactly the same as the cardboard box. So pretty, look at that. And again, it comes on the back with the holes where you can actually push the shades out and rearrange them how you want. I did not even take away the mirror cover because I wanted to wait and do a video with this. Now, isn't this pretty? This is beautiful I can't I just keep staring at it it is just every shade in here I love and I can't wait to use it it's gonna make me so happy using it but yeah I was thinking of doing I'm gonna dedicate a full video on this palette and we're gonna do swatches in that video and I will try do a couple looks with it what I was thinking is 
stay tuned and see what I'm gonna come up with I have an idea here but yeah this is my last product in my haul I'm so excited for it I would love to hear your guys' thoughts what did you pick up during this sale did you pick up anything that I did or sale is still going on I don't know when this video is gonna go up I will try my best to put it up as soon as I can as soon as I'm able to edit it and I'm so excited with all these products I am very excited about every little product in here I love all of them I cannot choose a favorite I'm so excited about all of them anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul if you did don't forget to subscribe down below you mean so much to me always always remember to be yourself i wish you all a wonderful day and i cannot wait to see you in my next one love you guys bye